Hi, internet. It is Valentine's Day, and obviously love is in the air because we're too nice this week, and it made this very, very difficult. So here's number four of the prank roundup. Saddest one yet. Our first two videos of the week show two of our favorite pranksters getting real. Both FouseyTube and Sam Pepper released message-fueled pranks this week. Fousey called this one an experiment and enlisted the help of a little mini prankster named Nathan. What Nathan and Fousey do is convince people that Nathan has escaped from his abductor, who is played by Fousey. And the results are super creepy. Sir, please, can you like What's call? What's wrong? Can you like call my parents? Uh, I was with my mom and. Uh, Got lost? Uh, yeah, and then uh, some guy just took me and then he, he uh, told me that. Like? He d Nathan. Uh, what did I tell you about coming away from me? Now, while Fousey's tube is sending everyone a message of bravery, Sam Pepper's video is sending a message of kindness. So, what Sam does is plant fake parking tickets on the cars of victims and they are not happy with what's going down. But then, he flips it and puts a special message inside those envelopes. Sam Pepper, Boozy Tube, our generation's greatest minds. Now, this video is not even a prank, but it is the best thing to happen to us all week. So, if you have not downloaded Flappy Bird yet, well, you can't because the game's creator has taken it down Citing, I cannot take it anymore. Which any of you out there who've played Flappy Bird could totally wrap your minds around. Well, some guy on YouTube cracked the code and actually found out how to beat this insanely addictive and frustrating and awful game. Check it out. And just pay attention, because uh, you can miss it. See right there? It's a prank on you! You see? You get it? Great prank. It's a prank. If you don't get it, then the internet is obviously smarter than you because the video got upwards of 10 million views this week alone. And of course, Bink Moto's Walking Dead Zombie NYC prank, blah blah blah. It was great. It was obviously the greatest thing that's ever happened in the entire existence of the universe. <laughs> What really gets us about this prank is how unfazed your average New Yorker is by f***ing zombies. That's all for this week. Happy Valentine's Day. I hope you don't cry later, but I secretly hope you do. And we'll see you next time. Check out the links to the videos we talked about in the description box. They're great. For more Gag Studio stuff, click here or here. And why not subscribe while you're at it? See you next time.